welcome to the latest edition of CNN World News, June 5th, 1958. Today we've received confirmation of a major environmental crisis taking place in Communist China. As a part of the Great Leap Forward, a campaign called the Great Sparrow Campaign was started by leader chairman Mao Zedong. What at first seemed like a great way to increase production of the nation's many collective farms is now causing severe economic harm to China. To give some background information, the Great Leap Forward was a movement started by Chairman Mao Zedong that is trying to turn a once agrarian Chinese society into an industrial superpower. One way, one way of doing this is a method, farming method called collectivization. Collectivization is done by having many large collective farms manned by a large workforce that is trying to produce as much food as possible for a growing Chinese population. The Great Sparrow Campaign was, as f was at first initiated to help speed up collectivization. A major threat to Chinese crops was the Eurasian Tree Sparrow, or scientific name, Passer Montanus. This species was very abundant to China, and this bird was known to consume a great amount of seeds in their diets. The Great Sparrow Campaign was Mao Zedong's way of trying to eradicate this bird from China. A public service announcement of grand proportions was launched throughout China. Villagers from all over the country kept their eyes to the skies trying to find and kill these birds. Some of the birds were shot while others were driven from the ground to die of exhaustion. By the end of 1960, almost all of the sparrows in China had gone extinct. At first, it seemed like the Great Sparrow Campaign was a great success. In the months following the Great Sparrow Campaign, crop harvests were significantly higher due to the decrease in birds, and Mao Zedong was praised for his genius. However, it took only a year after the eradication of these birds for the full consequences to be felt, and for China to realize what a great mistake it had made. For details, I'm going to turn it over to CNN's lead ecologist, Jack Bradley. Thank you. After the, after the eradication of millions of these sparrows from China, autopsies were done on these dead birds. The findings we made were astounding. Not only did seeds make up a giant part of the bird's diet, but locusts were also a major food source of these sparrows. Without any predator to keep these, the populations in check, locust numbers began to rise exponentially. A major food source of locusts, of course, is vegetation, which led to giant swarms of locusts attacking Chinese farms with nothing to hold them back. The results were devastating. We've captured videos of these giant swarms of locusts, and as you can tell, this is turning out to be a major environmental disaster for China. That's some pretty scary stuff. While the loss of biodiversity was great due to the killing of sparrows, there was also a direct effect on human lives as well. The invasion of locusts led to the destruction of many crop fields, which ended up causing the Great Chinese Famine, in which upwards of 30 million people died due to starvation. With better planning, this catastrophe would never have happened. Nothing was done to stop this process as it was occurring, and we can only hope that China has learned from these great mistakes. Now back to you. Thanks for the information. To conclude, it can only be said that the Great Sparrow Campaign was a complete and total disaster for China. While the intentions were good, lack of foresight from Mao Zedong has ultimately led to the suffering of his people. This remains 
as an example to why communism does not work. I would like to say thank you for watching this segment tonight. And tune in next week for more breaking news. Good night.